Look at the new territory for Taylor Fritz, first major semifinal. How about this? 26 years, 310 days old, the oldest U.S. man to make his major semifinal debut at the U.S. Open in the Open Era. It's a wild stat. He's still so young. Two straight top five wins in majors, started 0 for 9 there. This guy went toe to toe in baseline rallies, didn't flinch in the biggest moments. So this just felt different, Prakash. It wasn't like, I'm happy to be here. I want to do more. And we saw that in the match. Uh, the biggest thing for me is when the stakes are so high, to be able to stay so patient throughout, he really had to wait for his opportunities. There were some very extended rallies here with Zverev. His shot tolerance was brilliant. His shot selection was amazing. You didn't really see him choosing any bad shots throughout the entire match, whether he made it or missed it. They all seemed to be the right shot selection, pulling the trigger when he needed to. And he's gotten so much more comfortable at the net. Some of those big points, he found himself at the net. John pointed it out, had to put away a few smashes to close out that first set. And really solid technique up there. When he's adding that element to his already impressive baseline game, that makes him a much more complete threat. Yeah, we talked about the serving that Taylor Fritz needed to bring, and he did bring it. Zverev, though, he can serve big as well. I think a big portion of that match that stood out for me was the controlled aggression that Taylor Fritz exhibited. We saw at times Zverev a little further back behind the baseline, playing a, a little more meek tennis and not really stepping up, maybe looking for Fritz to miss or, you know, to pull the trigger too early and to overplay, and it just did not happen over the course of that match. You had a few moments where we saw Fritz miss, but they were good misses, and I think overall that was the mindset that really came into play. He came in with the right mindset. He knew what he needed to do, especially having beaten Zverev at the previous major, and he just executed to perfection, and that is not easy to do on that big of a stage, that big of an occasion, trying to get to your first major semifinal. When we use the phrase controlled aggression, sometimes it seems like a tennis cliche. That was a clinic in controlled aggression. There was poise, there was sound decision making, but he was also the aggressor in that match. We look at Zverev, comes in a lot of hype, best player never to win a major, the gold chains, and this guy was on his back feet. I mean, it was Zverev who was playing defensive tennis, and uh, Taylor Fritz just absolutely seized that occasion. Now he joins the three other Americans as major semifinalists, and I like the way this has just been a slow build. And look, there, there are advantages to making a splash and cannonballing in the pool and becoming a sensation. The slow build, though, is built to last, and uh, that was Taylor Fritz, and we'll see uh, if he's got two more matches in him. It's been building for a long time, John. Listen, before yesterday, Taylor and his mom, Kathy May, seven major quarterfinals. The family is in the Final Four for the first time.